Hola, 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 and welcome to another edition of Fortune Fresh Wednesdays, where we give you a farm fresh recipe to go with your farm fresh groceries. Here we are in fall, and root vegetable season is definitely upon us. And I'm so excited we finally got our first eggplant in. So today we're going to be making a Latin style ratatouille, which is really just a way to say we're going to incorporate a lot of vegetables into a delicious and easy tomato based sauce. You've also received these lovely San Marzano plum tomatoes in your bag. San Marzano are great tomatoes to use for a sauce. This time of year is also great to get into canning and jarring. As the last of the season's tomatoes roll out, think about making a sauce that you can then put into a mason jar can and use throughout the season. We're also going to be using some purple kale. This is often called lacinato kale also or lacinto kale. We're also going to be using half of a cubanel pepper. We have taken one garlic and taken it into the small dices and we've done that 10 minutes before we prepared our recipe because we want to release the allicin, the anti-inflammatory properties of the garlic and make it more bioavailable for you to use. So for our seasonings, we're going to use a mixture of salt and pepper to taste. We're going to use a half a cup of vegetable broth. We're also going to use a half a cup of water. So you want to go ahead and get your pan nice and hot and put one to two tablespoons of olive oil and we're going to go in with our onions first. So we want to get our onions nice and translucent and we're going to do that by cooking them for about two to three minutes over a medium flame. And if you're finding that they're browning too quickly, go ahead and turn the flame down. The next thing you're going to add would be your garlic and your peppers. And that's going to be our kind of miracle for this recipe, which is a marriage of our onions, our garlic, and our peppers to begin to release and create that base of flavor for our ratatouille. Something else that you can do with eggplant because it tends to hold a lot of moisture is you can salt your eggplant before working with it and then for about 20 minutes then dab your eggplant and you will see that the excess moisture has been released from it. In this sauce I'm not going to bother to do that because I think the extra moisture incorporation in our recipe will be great. So I've gone ahead and I've added our tomatoes. And this is a one pot wonder. So you really don't need to have any special ingredients or any special equipment. So we're gonna go ahead and brown our eggplant. And at this point, we wanna come in with a little bit of seasoning. So we're going to add a nice generous pinch of salt and pepper. And then go ahead and get that stir to combine. From here, we're going to add in a little bit more oil going to drop in our tomato paste, our vegetable broth concentrate, and some water. in order to incorporate our paste. So you go ahead and mix that up using a spoon and you want to completely incorporate the tomato paste. You can also dilute the tomato paste into the water before it comes into the pan. 
creating that nice soft space for this ratatouille. And you can also switch out the vegetables that you put into this. It's a very forgiving recipe. Okay, from there, I'm going to finish it off with a nice handful of our fresh greens, our kale. That in. And we're going to let that come to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, it will be nice and ready. A way that I like to serve it is by putting some brown rice in a bowl and having a scoop over a bowl. You can also do some whole grain pasta. You can also serve it stuffed inside of a sweet potato. It's a really lovely, lovely welcome to fall dish. So I hope you try and enjoy this Latin style ratatouille and see you next Wednesday.